then you got a job offer during the government shutdown. During those 43 days, I was literally just applying to 10 to 15 jobs a day. You said it would take two to three weeks for me to get a role, and it took two to three weeks for me to get a role. And then what type of salary increase did you get from making that jump? Hey, Charles, thanks for joining me today. It's been amazing to see your growth over the past few months. I just want to talk about your story and just your testimonial and everything that you've gone through since working with me in my program. I want to know where were you career wise when you first started working with me in my inner circle program and where are you at right now? When I first started joining the VIP program, I was a civilian. I kind of had a jack of all trades position, but I was a GS 12 step seven. I was kind of looking at like over the last five years, like how much my pay has gone up, gone up about 5000 And that includes the promotion because I started off as a GS-11. I've been following you on Instagram, seeing all your videos and stuff for a while. And I just figured it was time to make that jump. I started working with you all. I was able to get an incident response analyst position. Nice, nice. So basically you had said, okay, you know, I've been working for the federal government, haven't really been making any additional money. And you were thinking about, okay, what's the best next move for you in your career to make the money that you want to make? And so what exactly were you doing in the federal government? So I was a event planner unit I was working for. We did a lot of uh, quick onboarding or rapid onboarding for technology that the government was testing to see if they want to go further with it. I played a part in the planning of those events and then also the actual testing of the systems. So that's how I was able to get exposure to some of the cybersecurity systems out there like, you know, Splunk, things like that for the new technologies that we were onboarding. Working with you all, it helped me, you know, kind of see the experience that I had and actually be able to translate that into my resume when I'm applying for these jobs. Because I remember when we first started working together, you weren't really sure exactly which roles your experience would align to because you were a event planner, which is, you know, a little bit different type of role than the traditional cybersecurity jobs that you'll see at the government contractor companies. And so, you know, I came in there and then helped you with your resume. I redid your resume for you and then help you pretty much get to the point where you can start applying for cybersecurity roles that you actually wanted and help you see that, hey, you got a lot of good experience here. It's just we got to put it in a way that these different government contractor companies can see that, hey, you have the right skills that we're looking for. You got the right background and we'll want to hire you. So since you were a federal government employee, like how was it for you during the furlough, during the shutdown? Like what did you do over those 43 days? Like we talk about during the reverse engineering, I have my CYSA, but for the roles that I was actually interviewing, the role I have now, I actually needed my degree in order to actually start. So during those 43 days, I knocked out my degree, I got a job, and then I actually knocked out my pen test plus within those 43 days. So, you know, definitely was taking advantage of that time being off, but I was putting in those 10 hour days. So I was doing like eight hours of studying. And then after that, I'll spend an hour and a half, two hours applying to jobs, fielding calls from recruiters for screenings. So I was definitely putting in work and taking advantage of those days off. Okay. Yeah. You, you took full advantage of the furlough. You were able to literally come out of that like, okay, cool. Government shut down. Got my certs, got my degrees and I got a new job and they pay for your relocation as well. Definitely didn't waste my time there. Yeah. That's the way to do it, man. That's the way to do it. What type of salary and increase did you get from going from federal government to switching to government contractor? So I actually did get a salary increase, I think, because as a GS, I was not super senior, but I was further along in my career. It went down about 10000 So it was something that I could stomach because at first, when I first sat down with you, I was thinking that I would have to go hell desk at first. So I was planning on like $35,000, $40,000 salary cut, but you let me know with the positions that I would be going for. It would either be similar or a little more or a little less. So it would end up being a little less. I'm moving, so I'm going to to like a place where the cost of living is lower. So it pretty much evens out in the end. Even though you are taking a slight pay cut and you are getting a bump in your clearance though, right? So they're going to be sponsoring you for like a higher level clearance, right? With you getting this role and getting this higher clearance, I'm sure within the next, you know, 12 to 18 months, you'll see a really big salary increase for sure. Take a small cut and then it'll pay off in the end. I mean, just looking at, like I said, for my last job as a GS, five years, only made 20000 more dollars out you know five years doing this i don't know what that number will be but i'm sure it'd be a lot more than twenty thousand. so that's what i'm looking forward to you'll see a major salary increase from making this jump for sure so you go into that little 
lower cost of living area and an area that has way more job opportunities. So what have you found most valuable about the Inner Circle program and working with me and my team? I think the main thing is that you have access to a lot of people that have actually done what you're looking for because you see your videos on YouTube and I'm, I'm sure they're more so tailored to the normal person that's just trying to make the switch into tech. But when you're actually able to sit down with you and then the others, you actually see, okay, you know, I have experience. I should be going for these positions and then you end up making more money. But, you know, just having access to people, you know, people that are really good with resumes, people that are really good as far as helping you interview, you know, what questions to look for, how to answer them. Also having access to you, we have our, our week calls, be able to ask whatever questions you want. If you have any questions or something that you don't feel like you're quite prepared for, you can ask anybody and they'll be able to help out as well as the people that are within, within the group. You know, we got people that have done all types of things. What's the biggest career transformation that you've had since working with me over the past few months? The main thing is like the thought process. You see all these positions out here reading the descriptions and everything sounds super technical. And then, you know, you're talking to people and you realize I'm like, hey, I've done these things before. Everything doesn't have to be super complicated. You know, these little things that you're doing at your job every day, they translate into things that you see on these different job postings. So I think the biggest thing is like letting you know that you're ready for certain things. Yeah, definitely. And then so I always like to say that, right, like the job descriptions, especially in this sector, right? Every time you look at the job description, it's going to look like something that you've never done before, something you don't have a lot of experience with because they typically make the job descriptions and they write them in a way to where it's very specific to whatever type of program it is. The program might be one that you don't have any experience with. Maybe even the technology and tools that they're using, you might not have experience with all of it, but it can be very intimidating. So that's why I always recommend to people like still apply to the job anyway and always pay attention. What are the key skills and requirements? Because that's really what they're looking for. And then it's going to be on them to determine, hey, yeah, we'll bring this person in, even though they don't have any experience with our exact program, our exact system that we're using. But as long as you stay to the core skills and talk about the core skills that you have and how it relates to who they're trying to hire, you know, that's the best thing that you can do. What made you sign up for my VIP Inner Circle program? I was thinking about making the jump for probably like three, four years. And when you spend money on something, I mean, for me, at least I'm going to do what I sell. That's the main thing. I have been thinking about it. And then also, you know, the chance to be able to work with people that, again, have done what I'm trying to do. I think that helps out a lot because where I was working before, there aren't really many people that have done what I want to do that I can ask questions on those type of things. So would you recommend other people to sign up for my VIP Inner Circle program as well? As long as you can afford it. I mean, even if you can't, I mean, I think it's a good uh, investment to find a way. There's different ways that you can make that investment into yourself. You know, people do it all the time with a lot of different things. People spend money on things they don't need. I know I was one of those people. So I figured if you're going to spend the money anyway, you might as well invest it into yourself and it'll pay off and it paid off for me. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So thank you so much, Charles. I'm glad to see that you've made that transition. You're moving over to an area that has a lot of opportunities. So I'm sure, like I said, once you get that next level clearance, it might take a little bit of time, but once you get that next level clearance, get more experience in your incident response role, I'm sure you're going to move up very quickly on the more technical cybersecurity role. So like I said, I'm super excited to see that the progress that you've made so far, and we're just getting started and looking to help you make even more money and move up even more in your career over the next 12 months. So thanks for coming out, Charles. Definitely appreciate you. 